In this video, I'm gonna go over my newly updated pickup truck camping design. Let's jump into it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over my updated truck camping design for the back of my pickup truck. Since my last video, which I'll update up here, uh, if you haven't watched that yet, please give that a watch. Uh, I've had a lot of positive feedback from that. So if you're interested in doing one of these, definitely give that one a watch after this one. But as far as this one goes, I found a few things that work better for me and what my needs are. The way I made this one is it's not a full bed. I wanted an area where I can sit in there, you know, be on my laptop and edit photos or edit videos when I need to. Uh, so this is basically gonna be set up for solo trips for me. Uh, another thing I did do though is I made this a pull-out type bed. So this design gives you the option to pull out the bed to make it so two people can sleep in it. So I'll show you that once we jump into here. Yeah, with that said, let's jump in here. I'm gonna go over a few things I did and just kind of give you a little tour of it. Let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, here we are up in the bed. What my last design lacked is kind of an area where you can kind of have your feet down and just sit normal like this. With my cap being a cab height truck cap, you're really limited on height, but this is gonna allow me to sit back. You know, I can kind of sit back and act as this kind of like a couch and the way I lean back, my head, I've got a few inches of headroom, so. And then I can grab my laptop, you know, set it here if I wanna be on this, and I can, I can be comfortable doing that. So what my last design lacked in the last video is an option that allowed me to do that. So basically if it was, during the day, if it was raining out, you, and you wanted to be up in here, you were just basically laying in here. There was no sitting, in entertaining doing anything. Uh, basically you jumped up in here and you laid down and you napped or whatever. But basically if it was raining, it was pretty boring so we would just basically drive around and you know find something to do. And then another thing is I like to kinda relax a little bit before bed. You know, not climb right up in here and go right to bed. Sometimes I like to just jump up in here, kinda simmer down, wind down the night to get on my laptop or whatever else, and then go to bed. So this is gonna allow me to do that. This bed, which I'll go over in a little bit, <clears throat> I also made a slat pull-out bed. So this part right here will pull out to about here. <clears throat> and then this mattress will come out and basically make this bed a lot bigger than it is right now. But for my single trips, I'm fine with just this. And then my dog will sleep on this little platform I made right here. And then um, I made like kind of a little counter table thing right here. And then this also has a little opening right here where I can store stuff. You know, I'll store food or whatever else in here. Uh, maybe some cooking supplies. Because I do have my camp stove down here that I can use up here and cook a meal or whatever else. Uh, and I also designed this little counter so that this cooler will fit right in here. So I can have, you know, colder drinks in there, whatever refrigerated meals I would need. So that works out well for that. And then it's also got a couple cup holders in it. So that'll be nice to be right there. And then that can also act as a little bit of a counter space too when I'm not, when I don't need to get in the cooler. Uh, another area where there's some storage spaces underneath this is the little dog platform I made. So this is where my dog will sleep. But uh, there's also some storage space underneath here as well. And then as far as lighting goes, um, this is another area where I explained it in my uh, camper remodel. For my woodworking business, I use Milwaukee M18 uh, tools. They're cordless drills and all that, and they come with the cordless batteries, obviously. And they make a bunch of tools that I explained in that video. But anyway, the lighting is that. So I've got two of them, and they'll run on those batteries for a long time so then another good option with those lights is on the back there's a USB charger so I'll be able to charge my phone from the light as well so when I hunker down and go to bed I'll bring that light over here and I'll be able to plug my phone in to charge it and be able to shut the light off because it allows you to do that too another thing I got is these elastic velcro uh, mesh nets to store stuff in uh, the inside of my truck cap is 
uh, fabric. These Velcro mesh nets work really well. Uh, in this one, I just got you know deodorant, a washcloth, toothbrush, just a few things that you know you'll need every day. Uh, and I got another one back here where just right now I've got just a winter hat in there because we're coming up on the cold months. And uh, that reminds me, I'll, I'm going to do a video, a separate video uh, for tips for truck camping in the cold. So definitely be sure to subscribe for that and be on the lookout for that video as well. Up here, there's a little bit of a lip. And that acts as kind of like a shelf. So that'll work out really well too. I just basically slapped this together today. I didn't really get too crazy into it. So, But another thing I have is kind of an oversized rug here. At first I was kind of bummed out because it wouldn't fit, but this will actually work out a lot better how it curves up. So when I get in and out, me and my dog, this will catch whatever shit you bring in and then it's easy enough to drag it out and shake it out. But yeah, let me jump out of here and I'm going to show you how this pull-out bed works as well. So let's, uh, let's jump into that right now. And then with this design, I was able to keep some storage space as well uh, for the pull-out bed underneath it. I just made a really, really quick drawer out of some plywood and then the handle is just a rope handle that I put washers and just tied knots so it's really simple just drilled holes through here super simple uh, I don't have any of my gear with me because most of it's in the camper which is at my parents house right now but you get the point here so I'll be able to kind of organize a bunch of gear in here once I have it and that drawer is just super simple. I mean, I just ripped down, cut the plywood to width I need right here, measured for height, and just put sides and a back on it. So that's just really simple drawer. Alrighty, guys, let me show you how I set up this bed. I bought a sheet of 5 8 thick plywood. Uh, that works out really well for my truck. Uh, I've got a plastic bed liner in here. And these grooves right here are exactly 5 8 of an inch thick. So this 5 8 plywood fits down in there perfectly, so it's not going to go anywhere. And then, as you can see, I've got this thing right here, which is part of the slat pull-out bed. So this thing will pull out to about here to extend the bed right there, which I can show you that. Alrighty, guys, so in order for me to show you the pull-out bed feature, I've got to take the dog bed part out of here. I want to take that out first. And then I also got to take out the rug because that this goes into these grooves as well. All right, so now let me, I'm going to kind of move this mattress back just so you can see how it works. So basically this, you grab the outer one and this will pull out about that groove right there. Then you can take your mattress and just pull that out. And then you've got yourself a bigger bed. So it's nice to have that option because now two people could sleep in here. The majority of the time what I'm going to be using it for is, is the other way, but I just wanted to show you that this has that option. So if you wanted to build it like this, you can do that. But now I'm going to set it back up the other way because that's how I'm mainly going to be using it. So there you have it guys. Uh, as you can see it gives you a couple options with the, the couch design like this and then with the pull out bed design to, in case you want to convert it to be a two person sleeper. Um, I'll mainly be using it like this so I'm going to leave that. Anyway guys if you enjoyed the video definitely be sure to subscribe. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button on it because uh, it'll really help out the channel and the video and definitely subscribe for more Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a, I've got a few more videos planned Around like truck camping and stuff I'm definitely gonna do kind of a cold weather tip one because I have slept in some cold weather and I've got a few tips and tricks for that So stay tuned for that video. So hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video